This one will be the first one is the H and N Hornet. We go bottom left. Let's see if I can get these on target here. Alright, let's go take a look at close up. Alright, part two to this little video. Alright, let's go take the first one here. Uh, we'll look at this one first, I guess. Uh, let's bring this down here. I gotta get some more light here. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. We got light. Some light. I kept a little bit here. So let's see what we got here. We got a pretty clean entrance hole. And it did hit back here. Don't see no shrapnel come out. Don't see nothing in the video. But, uh, get off me styrofoam. That takes two inches of my finger. See the expansion isn't all that great. It looks like it just kind of rolled out the back side here. That's not too bad. I have to look, I'll put a picture up after I go through this and see which ones were which so you can see which ones we're talking about. This was the first one, I know that. My camera, focus, focus. There we go. This is from the Asian. Uh, dev, 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 what did they call hornets? That's it, hornet. I know that one. Tell by the little dimple here in the center. Again, just like in the last video, near perfect deformation. What do we got for a hole here? Well. We got a lot of energy expended right here. And it came out and bounced off the back into here. See that was sitting right there. I don't see the little gold tip anywhere. Did knock a little bit of clay through into the back. 
not a lot. I'm not sure where the tip went. Enough of that, guys. Come on, keep it clean. But, I mean, yeah, we know it came through because we got the color. Doesn't have a whole lot of energy back here at the back. And that hole's pretty uniform all the way to the very back. So it carried its momentum and energy all the way straight through. So I'd say that'd do a pretty good job to uh, eliminate a pest. Again, I'll show at the bottom, or on the bottom, which pellet is it. I'll have to go back through and rewatch. This one, it's a pretty heavy piece. That power, uh, hold on, let me grab a pencil. The pellet went straight through, almost uniformly, uniformly, all the way through, and it's the same diameter all the way across. So that didn't, eh, I'm not too sure about that pellet. Yuck. You know, it stayed that big all the way through it. There's no expansion, there's no deformation. It's just like it just punched straight through with nothing. This will be the last one we're gonna look at today. I'll pull that on in just a second. This one's different. This has got pretty decent exit wound. Pretty decent blowout here in the front. And it's conical. In other words, it's bigger at this end than it is down here at the bottom. So, I mean, that's well, four pencils around, and that's about two and a half. So, yeah, it made a bigger impact here before it went all the way through. So let's move this out of the way and see if we can see any rep. Oh, well, that's kind of revelling. Here's our, oh, here, I'll put you up there. So you can see, oh, you can't see, can you? There's our, um, the JSB heavy right here in a little plate. The other one kind of bounced off it wasn't carrying much momentum, just kind of, I mean, it's in here, but it didn't, didn't do much anything. I do have some fragments back here, so maybe it had fragmented, but not enough to do anything major. I got a piece down here at the very bottom that's going to be kind of hard to get out of there. But here's our JSB. And it mushroomed out pretty darn good. Of course, that's hitting the plate too, so that really doesn't count much. But with the look of how it went through here, this here, you can tell it's you know started to expand a little bit. Don't cut yourself, silly. I think we got it there. Yep, there it is. Let's get you back down at the table. Yeah, I'm sorry. Ugh. That's what's left of the King Heavy. And as you can see, for those who are wondering, come on. All the paint stayed on there. So we found two of the four. Let's see, how are we sitting? This one's sitting here. So I don't see nothing in here. Oh wait, that was this one. So yeah, we found that one. But we didn't find this one. Hmm. 
There's no marks on the outside edge of that one. That's where it, I don't know where that one went. Probably came back at me and didn't say hi. But yeah, I mean it's not a bad wound channel. Come on, camera focus. I mean, it was like this. But I think, for all intents and purposes, I think the H&M Hornets are a vi very viable option for um, pest control, shall we say. Um, downside to H&M Hornets, I haven't mentioned it yet. Ouch! On the pocketbook. So, you know, if that's what you're looking for is pest control, the H&M Hornets will definitely do you. Let's see if I can't open this up real quick. Probably should be using a bigger knife, but that's why I want to go smaller. That's a little bit better, a little bit easier to see. That's from our Hornet. This is from the JSB. Let's see if I can get this one cut. Nope, I will need a bigger knife. But, you know what, me being the person I am, we always have a bigger knife. terribly bad not the greatest as far as you know examples but you can still see that it created a nice little hole and I would hazard to say that if you're trying to take out a piece of nuisance you should have no issues using the H&M Hornets or the King Heavies here's that one Throw the last one up on here even though this one I wasn't really all that impressed with it did okay and there was that one and that was the first one so first first second third fourth so that's it I just wanted to redo that little test to see if I could get something a little bit better than what we originally had. And uh, I think we accomplished it this time. So that's it for this video. Until next time. Peace.